It's early October 2020 and I always consider this as being the beginning of the gardening year because I'm going to sow sweet peas. <coughs> now in the past I'd not been terribly successful with that. Any technique that I'd heard about or tried ended up with about 50% germination and then I discovered a video and instructions on the internet by a company called Eagle Sweet Peas who uh, also um, it says on the, the packet there by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen so I imagine Her Majesty is out in the potting shed at this very moment as we speak but they had a technique which on the first attempt that I tried it gave me a hundred percent germination and that's what I'm going to explain now with perhaps one slight modification from what they they suggested. The first thing <coughs> is to fill a pot, they fill modules but I'll talk about that again in a minute, is to fill a pot about three quarters full with compost and then to water it well so it's really really soaked. The next thing is to fill the next quarter of it up, up towards the top, with fresh dry compost straight from the um, compost bag. Then I'm going to make four holes in that compost, uh, about three quarters of an inch deep, round the, round the edges. We've got uh, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to put the seeds in, um, also from Eagle Sweet Peas, drop one in each, and just sort of cover the top up a bit, um, and then not water it again until the seeds germinate. In the Eagle Sweet Peas video, they also use modules, but I found, although the germination was very good with the modules, as we were coming towards more the period the following year when they were to be planted, the ones that had been planted in pots were brilliant. The ones that were planted in modules were starting to look a bit tired. Now, I don't know if that's a question of nutrients. I don't know whether it's a question of their two hard to water in, in modules, they lose water too easily. But I've abandoned doing it in, in modules and so I always do that in pots. The modules that I'm talking about are like the cardboard centres of toilet rolls so maybe there's not enough uh, soil or space in there for them. Uh, these are called Ballerina Blue, so I'll put the all-important plant label in. I only plant the same variety in, in, in one pot. Um, I'm going to grow 32 plants next year. The reason for that is that the particular collection I get from Eagle Sweet Peas, their Chelsea collection, has eight different varieties in it. Um, and I've, I've got enough space to, to plant four, four of each. Um, although I got very good germination rates with this particular method, um, I will do double the quantity. So that's um, 16 pots with four seeds in each. That should give some spare ones, and they're always good things to give away at the beginning of the season. Pots then go in a cold frame. You can cover them up with something just to avoid too much evaporation. These are two halves of a potato sack that you could use newspaper. And then I'll just leave them and Check how they're getting on uh, in about a week.